Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of Live the Tandy Life with yours truly, Target audience, and Hang Kong! Hang Kong from Zhejiang, China. Alright, so we're gonna play the game. We always play our games that we're starting in, so here we are against the Cataracte. But first, while we're going through here, while we're loading, I need to tell you a story about Hang. He actually told me the story a little bit a while a little while ago. Uh, as I mentioned, Hang, he grew up in Shoshang, China. Now, Shoshang is considered the Venice of the East. He recalls swimming in the canals as a young boy and diving for quarters that the tourists threw in the water. Uh, one day, when he was walking home from school, uh, some school bullies, school bullies came along and pushed him in... Oh, I gotta hit restart. They pushed him into the canal. Uh, everything got wet. His books, his homework, everything. Hang immediately jumped back out of the water and chased after the boys. Uh, they ran into an alleyway where he chased them and only to find that he had hit a dead end. And the boys were waiting there for him. The group of five proceeded to kick the ever living shit out of Hang. It was at this point that Hang's adopted mother, Benita, the Canadians, decided to enroll him in hockey fighting lessons so that he could learn to fight and not back down. Uh, his coach, Pat Morita, he taught him everything he knew about fighting. At first, Hang was puzzled because Pat simply... Hold on, we got a, we got a guy coming in already. I gotta wait. Hold on. Focus first. And then once it's out, we'll tell the story some more. There we go. Perfect. Uh, Pat would simply have him do everyday chores around the house, like sweeping the garage, you know, rowing the boat. Nice, we got a goal. And uh, chopping down the trees. Nicely done, boys. Uh, let's take a look at the goal here. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's take a look at an instant replay. Here we go. Cross crease. Sorry, boys. I was in the Look at this garbage goal. Just lifted the stick and it fell in the net. All right, DeLuca. Good job, buddy. <clears throat> so, anyway, after weeks and weeks of chores, Hang was like, hey. Oh, hold on. We got him coming in again. Let me. I'll continue the story after. Uh, there you go. Focus. There you go. Good job. Get it out now so I can tell my story. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Uh, after weeks and weeks, uh, Hang went to Pat and told him that he was tired of doing all these chores for him and that he wanted to learn to fight. Pat then grabbed Hang by the shoulders and shouted, Show me! Row the boat! Hang did as he was told and executed the move perfectly. Pat was unable to defend. Pat then yelled, Show me! Sweep the garage! Hang 2... Uh, sorry. Hang 2 executed this with flawless perfection and Pat was rinsed, sent reeling. Finally, Pat yelled, Show me chop the tree! Hang did just as he was told, and Pat felt the power of Hang's blow. Hang, surprised by what just happened, felt a renewed sense of confidence in his abilities to fight, and was ready for his next hockey game, where he'd be facing off against the five bullies. Alright. Pat then told Hang, do not, do not fight those guys yet. You're not ready for it. We still have much training to do. Hold on. We got a guy coming. Okay, hold on. What do you got? What do you got for me, buddy? Hang's in the middle of story time, for Christ's sake. All right, here we go. Hang, Hang was rather headstrong, and he didn't heed Pat's warning. And at the next game, he found himself going to toe to toe, toe to toe with the leader of the group, uh, Zhang Mi. Uh, oops, sorry. Jesus Christ, I'm moving stuff around. Hang was thoroughly destroyed in this belt. Pat was right. Hang was not quite ready yet. Hang, feeling defeated, allowed Pat. Well, sorry, Hang. Feeling defeated, allowed Pat to instruct him as he fit, as he see fit, and that Hang was no longer going to question his ways. The reason why it sounds like I'm reading a script is because I had just put down notes. Hang told me this story, and so I made notes, and I made, I wrote a couple things down in sequence. You know what I mean? So, anyway, over the next month, Pat continued to tutor Hang. Uh, it turned out that Hang's team, the Fuzhuang Bonsai, would be taking on the bullies' team, the. Hula Fuang Cobras. Hold on, I got a guy coming here. There we go. Easy save. There we go. The Hula Fuang Co Cobras. In this match, Hang would square off with one of Zhang Mi's friends, To Mi. In this fight, Hang would easily handle To. After getting out of the penalty box, he would immediately start a fight with Zhang's other minion. That'd be Bobby Chin. In this fight, Bobby Bobby pur purposely stepped on Hang's leg with his skate. Oh my goodness! This caused Hang to suffer a deep, very deep laceration, which he had to and he had to be removed from the ice to fix. Bobby 
immediately apologized. It's not Bobby. It's Bobby. B a h b h i. Immediately apologized to Hank and said to his coach, he had to, uh, said to him that his coach told him to do it. Can you believe it? The coach of the Holua Fang Cobras told Bobby to step on his legs. What the hell's going on here? After some time in the medical room, Hang thought his game was done and that he wouldn't be able to get to fight the leader, Zhang Ni. Thankfully, Pat knew an ancient Chinese practice that was able to help. It did, and Hang was able to return. So it did help. We're back in business. Let a way to go. As soon as he stepped on the ice, Hang skated over to Zhang and challenged him to a fight. Zhang agreed, and the two proceeded to center ice where they would circle the wagons a little. Hold on, we got a guy. Oh, tipped on! Hold on to that. They would circle the wagons a little bit, you know, gauging each other up. Where was I? Hang could feel the sting of the cut, but he didn't care. Jean grabbed his jersey quickly and threw a punch, but Hang dodged it and countered with a shot to the ribs. Hold on. <laughs> we got more. I hope you guys are enjoying the story so far. There you go. Easy save by Kong. A shot to the ribs. He followed that with two or three more rib blows before Zhang responded with an uppercut. Ouch, right on the chin. Look at that. That stash, it's fantastic. He followed that, uh, <laughs> that stunned Hang, and he stepped back momentarily. He felt the pain in his leg. It was absolutely killing him. He couldn't stand it anymore. Hang then stood one-footed and leapt at Zhang, fist raised. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. We gotta, we gotta make sure this gets out first before we can do any more storytelling. Using the point. Oh. Moves to the corner. What's going on here? Come on, guys. Set up some D here. There you go. Thank you. Hang then struck Zhang right in the temple. Zhang was knocked out absolutely instantaneously. Hold tight. God damn it. I want to tell my story. And Hang, I know, wants me to tell his story. Hang Kong. It's back up front. Back to the point. Welsh. Oh, it's offside. There you go. Medical personnel rushed to his aid, to Zhang Ni's aid, but was pronounced dead by medical staff. Can you believe it? Hang killed a man. After that, Hang was told that he could no longer be a skater in the Zhu Shuang minor hockey system and when I say minor hockey system I don't just mean minor minor uh, players I mean also their ability or their, the size of the league it was very small <laughs> you had like four teams in the Zhao Zhang League oh wow that didn't miss by much hold on oh big save there there we go what are you gonna do with it beyond the net this is a lot of pressure Oh, and it's in the net. I don't know if it hit a skate, but god damn it. I, I, jumped, I jumped it either way. But through a whole loophole in the system, Hang, being banned, still came back the next year as a goalie because the directors didn't say anything about him playing a goalie. They just said he couldn't be a skater anymore. And so, the legend is born. Anyway, so that's the story he wanted me to tell you. He wanted to make sure that you guys understood where he came from, and we can get back to the hockey game now. Tied at one. Took like eight minutes to tell that story. Hang, next time keep your stories a little bit shorter, okay? When I share them with people, thank you. Thank you. How do you say thank you and thank thank you in like Chinese or uh, Mandarin or Cantonese? Maybe somebody could tell me. I know it's not the language is not Chinese. It's either Cantorin or K Mandarin or Cantonese. Cantorin. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll just combine the combine the two. Combine the two into one fantastic, delightfully uh, pingy language. All right, here we go. Gignac. I've got him on my hockey ultimate team. And it's deflected to the corner. All right. A plus, A minus, A minus. How many shots did I face? I actually faced 12, faced 12 shots so far. Oh, sorry, 10 shots. And I've only let him one goal. So it's 90%. It's not a shutout anymore. But at least maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to produce here. All right, here we go. Let's get into this. Just stay, stay square to the play. Oh, wow. Big save there. Had to react really quickly to that. And rebound save. Oh, my goodness. That was a beauty. Down to the corner. Trainer. 
Come on, trainer. Oh, god damn it. What, what kind of a clear is that? Behind the line. Squat. Up. Over. DeLuca, go, buddy. All right, here's trainer. We got 13 minutes left in the third year. Trainer. Flips that on net. Welsh is there to pick it off. Lobby. Over to Hodge. Hodgey. Hodgey, buddy. He drives toward the slot. Back to the point. There's a save there. Read that one really easily. Along the boards. Pin the post. Gray. Back to the point. There's a save by Kong. There you go. 9-13 left in the third period. Still making the saves, guys. Making that save percentage go right up there. We needed over 9-2 for the career. Hold on to that. Actually, you know what? Dish it out. We got space. <laughs> Probably the worst place to put that, though. It put it too far away from him. He was supposed to on his stick, so he had to go chase it and created the situation where he was probably going to get tied up. Shot, big big miss there. All right, here they come back. Slight. Come on, Slight. What do you got? What do you got, bro? Come at me, bro. DeLuca. Goche, go, Goche. You got a little head space. Head space, is that, is, that a, is that a term? No. You got a little steam. A little headway. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Make a move, dude. Get rid of it. There you go. There you go. That's a nice little play. Jolly's got it. Jolly, ha, ha, ha. He's got it. Shot. Oh, missed the net. Missed the net. Good patience, though, to wait until you find that spot. A minute 12 left in the third period here. OJ. OJ. He's going to go behind the net. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Don't cross-crease me. Not my own team. You don't cross-crease me. Stop up, Jolly. Oh, look at Jolly go. To Sylvester. Shot deflected wide. Denny, Denny, you got a man over to the, lo the left wing there, but he goes to the right. D kicked around. We're just going to protect this post. There's an easy save. No, I couldn't get across on the rebound. And Zinoviev gets the goal. Two to one the score. How many shots have I faced now? 17 shots. That drops my save percentage into the shitter now. I need to face at least three, sh four shots in the next 27 seconds. In order to bring my save percentage up to that point. Welsh to lobby. God damn it, man. Made the save. Keep it alive. Go. Go. There you go, trainer. Go, buddy. 12 seconds left. DeLuca. They want me to go. Go. We'll go. I don't know if it's going to be able to do anything, though. With 12 seconds, you're not going to get in there. Shot! Rebound! Oh, and they can't do it. That was close. I didn't have any negative feedback. Well, a little bit there. Have to keep the puck out of the net. Watch watch the turnovers? At what point did I turn the puck over? God damn it, man. What's my save percentage for that game? An 8-8-2. God damn it. That's so annoying. The defense does an absolutely atrocious job of sh shutting down the front of the net. And that's what happens. Two. XP points. We're going to play on the, the Armada now. God damn it. Fuck. I take those wins very ser losses very seriously. You're getting the start tonight and go what we can accept. For do you have some time? I'll spell it out for you. Nice. Fans love it. I want to do that. We wanted a shout out. S-H-U-T-O-U-T. -U -U Alright, here we go. Play this game here against the Armada. I can never pronounce this town. It's Blaine Blaineville Brian or Braunville Brian. I don't know what it is. Armada, it's ridiculous. Come on, people. Seriously, who decided to name this team? I have no idea. Stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, I don't have any more stories for you, though. Heng didn't give me anything between games. He said, no, you know what? Let's just jump right back into this. We don't need to tell stories at this point. There, Blainville, Boisbriand, Armada. Like, what a... Come on! You really have to hype... I'm sorry, but I don't know why the French community feels the need to hyphenate every goddamn name. Cities, last names, whatever it is. It's craziness. The Spanish, too, they hyphenate a lot, but at least their names are pronounci pronounceable. Oh, pronoun pronounceable? You can pronunciate them. <laughs> I don't know. Pronounceable is definitely not a word, I'll tell you that right now. All right. Here come the Armada. There you go. Get it out, boys. All right, up to trainer. We pretty much have to be almost perfect every time because we can only score one goal, it seems. Shot! Rebound! Nope, nothing coming from that one. Here they come. They turn it over. Oligny. Come on, Oligny. Cut to the middle. Shot! Rebound. Halpert. Halbert's there. 
Over to Picard. Up to Berger Bergeron? Bergeron. Oh, wow. That was close. Where is he going to go with this? Keep it in that post. Oh, don't jump off the post. Good God. Moves to the corner. Back to the point. Trainer, nice. Go, buddy. Go, DeLuca. Over to Gauche. Gauche. Come on, buddy. Go. Shot. Rebound. Oh, Gilney tipped. Oh, what a save by Marco. What a save with the blocker on a beautiful deflection in front by Trainer. Nicely done. All right. Here we go. 7:42 left in the first period. Tied up. Shot. Oh my God, picked off. Here they come. Here come the Armada. Over to Jeff Jeff Palovs. I don't know what the hell the name is. Oh, what the shit is that crap? I was in position. Oh, I'm sorry, Hong Kong. We're down one nothing. What's the shots now? Three three, and we've gotten a goal. Thirty. Ah, oh, the shutout streak is done. We've got two. That's all we can get. Ramuski's just terrible at scoring. I don't know if we're going to get drafted very high this year. Clapperton. Oh, it's Clapperton again. I see. What are you doing, Clapperton? You piece of shit. Oh, God. Interference? No. Nope. Can't interfere. Oh, jeez. No, we'll just stay internet. Here it is. Come on. You got to do something with this. And he throws the world's softest shot on net. <coughs> Pardon me. How much time left? Oh, here we go. Clapper dead. Oh, my God. Team is doing terrible at blocking those cross creases. I'm ready to quit already. 1.2 seconds left in the first. Down to nothing. I've only saved 50% of my shots. What a joke. What a joke. Five plus for position score because I skated out. Oh, two, five shots I faced. Sorry. God damn it, man. <sighs> It's gonna be ups and downs. I realize that. I get that. But at the same time, I have this. I have this drive to be, you know, really good. Try to be as best as I can. All right, just clap it. Take your shot, dude. Give me some, some uh, confidence. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm tracking you. Nothing's going. Why not? Why not take a penalty? Because we are. We don't have enough to deal with already. We don't have enough to deal with. I think we need more shit to pile on the. Put on the pile. Warren. Good block. Go, trainer. You got this, buddy. Skate to that shit, son of a bitch. Pick, let the stick. You cocksucker. Back to the point. Morin. Shot. Ugh, deflected. Albert. Move it over to Wah. What do you got for me, buddy? There's an easy save on that one. There's another save. Oh, another save. There you go. Good job. Get it out. 50 seconds left in the penalty. Picard. And over to Wah. Albert. Clapperton. What do you got for me, buddy? Holy shit. Thank goodness that was our guy and not theirs. That was a great cross crease. The lateral movement doesn't seem as quick. My guy doesn't move as easily in terms of you know, giving up stuff, but at the same time, he doesn't move as quickly to, to cover it. All right, pin this post. There it is, deflected to the corner. Clapperton's going to go around the net. Oh, missed that just by a bit. Could not see that shot coming. Go, go. Yes, to Lou. I don't know how you pronounce that name. I'm going to try. Some French, to some French guy. In front! Oh, can't quite grab onto it. Hines is going to grab that. Go to Aronson. Go over to Jepilov. Lava Lovs. Whatever his name is. Jippa Jippa. Turn over. Morin's got it. He's going to dump that around. Here they are. There's a save. Hold on to that. Dish it out. Go. 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 Nice. Oh, we're not going to get assists now. Too many players have touched it. All right. Go. 1650 left in the third. Or in the second. Down to nothing. We have not got a shot this period, but they've had like three or four. <coughs> Pardon me. The goaltending has been had been has had been top notch. Oh, that didn't miss by much. Big save on the blocker. Moves behind the net. 
forcing the goalie to crane left and then right. Oh, here's a There's a there. save with Kong. Go, 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 go. Middle, two minutes left in the third. Or in the second. God damn it. Luzo. Get in there, buddy. Do something with it then not skate backwards. Get it on the forehand. Oh, I hit him right in the ass. Trombley. He's going to step in and take a shot. No, that'll do it. All right, so we are currently through two periods. B pluses in all categories. I faced 12 shots. They faced six. They've faced six. So I got to face 20 shots in order to get to 900. Bullshit. Not good. Not good at this point. Our team has been pretty much non-existent on the shot, cat shot clock. It's one of the problems with setting your time clock at three minutes. Oh, in front. Setting the clock at three minutes instead of uh, per period instead of five minutes. This is just what happens. All right, Sanch. I'm waiting. I'm watching. You're not going to sneak one by me. There. Easy. Easy read on that. Give me something a little bit more difficult than that, buddy. <coughs> Pardon me. Still fighting a cold, buddy. Trainer. In front. Oh, my God. Wah picks it off. Is that Mark Olivier Wah? I don't know if he plays for Braun. I think he does. Missed the net. Oh, he's going to turn it over to Sanch. There's an easy save on that one. Clapperton. He's going to look for a shot on this one. No, he's going to flip it around. There you go. Go, Morin. Nine minutes left in the third. Go, DeLuca. Morin. God, man. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Dumb ass son of a bitch. All right, here we go. There's a save. Easy save on that one. Oh, Sylvester. Jolly. Ha, ha, ha. Jolly, go, buddy. We got five and a half minutes left to score. Marco makes a save. We've had a cut. We've had like one good chance this whole game. Maybe two. That's being very generous. Forcing attention in deep. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. Shot. We're, come on. Ramuski's recoiling here. Tied up. Gets that pass behind the net. Nope. Stay in that. Go, Jolly. Go, buddy. We don't have much time left. A minute. Rebound. Oh, my God. And Halbert's the one to grab it. What a terrible offensive force by our team. Just no non-existent, the offense. No goals. There you go. Go. Go, Sylvester. To Jolly. To McKinnon. Up to J They want me to go? Oh, wow. Shot rebound. And we're pulling the goalie with nobody back, and they've got the puck. It's pretty much a guaranteed loss. And I can't even skip. I can't even hit A. Put me back in the net. I'm going to go fight somebody. This is bullshit, man. Come on, coach. Stop being such an effing retard. Let's go. Let's go fight this fucking goalie. Oh, a collision. Oh, you son of a bitch. What? I can't get up now. I just, I just lay down there. Me and the goalie. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell is going on here? All right. I'm just going to skate out. I don't really give a shit. Well, I do kind of give a shit. I don't want my save percentage to sink any lower. Holy shit. There you go. Go. Nice. We might get a fight here. Yes, we will with 3.2 seconds left here in the third. Come on. I'm going to kick the shit out of you, piece of shit. Yeah, you probably want to clinch on this one. Oh, man. That was embarrassing. You landed, like, one punch the whole time. Get out of my way. I got to go back to my net. Get him. Her hand, like, touched the back of his head. He's like, careful. Calm down. It's okay. I'll stroke your hair. All right, let's go. 2.9 seconds. Can we get out there and, and fight one more time? Go. No, not enough, not enough time to get out there. Two losses in this episode. You got to be kidding me. 
Not much fault of my own, really. Three goals on 17 shots. God damn it, I can't believe it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Until next time, I'm Target Audience, and I'll catch you guys out on the ice.